Hello, hello. This is a very random, impromptu sit down vlog and I am very, very happy I've moved into my new place. Today it starts. I feel like my life has been, for the last three months, I've been completely in transition. Finally, two days ago, I moved into my new place. I'm starting new, it is a new year, everything is amazing, I'm going to have breakfast. It's been a couple of weeks now and I'm actually still in the process. Ah! Asai! Oh my gosh. The cat is ripping up the paper towel. I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where to begin, except that I am beginning now and I will give you an update of what's been happening in the last few weeks, as well as a little tour. Everything is a mess. Uh, I have ordered furniture. Yeah, lots to catch you up on. I'm really, to tell you the truth, behind on workflow. Asai! No, she is climbing the camera. As you will have remembered, this is a size smoothie bowl. I got her in November of 2021, and the newest addition to the family is this little ragdoll kitten. This is Bikini. This is Bikini Munchkin Uluwatu Sunset. She has quite a long name. She is so sweet. I am going to drink the rest of my cappuccino. And I have made some oats here. As you can see, it's a mess. You should see the rest of the place. I've got some peanut butter here. I'm going to eat my breakfast or lunch or meal. And then I will sit down and give an update. I'll give a tour. Also, while I listen to, also while I eat my breakfast, I'm going to plug into a call that I missed the other day. I have quite a lot of work to catch up on and things to do. However, I'm super, super Oh, I feel super, super good. I've actually had a headache for the last few days. I definitely have been not as hydrated as I usually am. Also coming to that time of the month, which is always a challenging time for me, hormonally, mentally, emotionally, all the things. Come say hello. Come say hello. <laughs> My name is Bikini Munchkin Uluwatu Sunset. <laughs> Isn't she the cutest? Oh. Oh. Oh, say hi. Oh. <laughs> okay, so one thing I wanted to really emphasize about in here is the importance of a morning routine. For the last few weeks since I returned back to Bali, I have, because it's the new year, I think previously in my other vlog, maybe I mentioned that I was home in Sydney for the holiday season. So grateful to be home with my family in Sydney. My mom, my, my dad's actually in a nursing home. He has Alzheimer's. And then my sister and her husband, um, they live full time pretty much in Peru. They run a wellness retreat center there. However, they have their home in California. They were home in Sydney. Just being home and being around my family, I had so much time to reflect on my life, you know, moving forward into the new year and reflecting on what I've learned from 2022. And that's for everything in my life with business, with money, with friendships, with relationships, with my own health, with my online business. It gave me a really beautiful place to ground myself, obviously being at home. And then coming back to Bali, you know, now it's Friday the 20th of January. I mean, time is flying already. I've woken up every day for the most part and been so excited. It's a new year and just like my head running with so many ideas. So I would wake up straight away and get into work. Workflow. I have noticed that when I don't prioritize first thing in the morning, you know, a shorter, I've even, you know, made it shorter. Sometimes I can make it longer, but a, a, a morning routine, the importance of a morning routine is so foundational for myself. And I know for many others, and maybe this is the first time that you're hearing this. When you start your day with some spiritual practices or some really self-love self-nourishing practices it really allows you to start your day with intention and it really sets the tone for the day of course the day whoever knows what's going to happen anything can happen and it's also important to have some spiritual practices or some practices throughout the day to keep you grounded however it's really important to have that morning routine in saying that i was staying at a guest house my boyfriend and i pretty much have lived together the entire time we've been together however we've always rented separate places however he has always lived at my place however i moved out of a place in october 
and we at the time were going to move into a place together and in the interim before it was to be finished renovated I stored all my things in one of the rooms at the guest house where he was staying fortunately the guest house was super super safe however it had a major mold issue in my room in his room for the last like more than three months all my things in the room and then living in his room it's been moldy and mold is really disgusting not only is it disgusting it's also really bad for your health if you're constantly breathing in that mold that is so bad for your internal organs like mold is like a serious problem yeah i'm really grateful that i was able to be there but just being out of the mold has been wonderful and i think actually i filmed one a couple of vlogs i may not have like filmed them because yes this year is about becoming more consistent with my youtube channel i probably haven't posted them i know i haven't posted them it's been really difficult living in that transition and not having for myself like space space also in my day with my time and also just like space in a place i really appreciate bright places it makes me feel more awake and stimulated and also just like having space not so much clutter not that i'm like super minimal minimalist um, i would like to move more towards minimalist however i do appreciate having certain things but it was very difficult for me to still continue my practices my spiritual practices and that's something that i've always strived for in a day is to always have that balance and it's actually one of my main things to focus on this year as well and it's always been a focus is to split your day into focusing on doing the things that you love and having the time to do the things that you love and being with those who you love as well for me it's like getting in surfing my workflow my spiritual practices my creative practices having time for myself which i have had no time today and now and yesterday has been pretty much and then the the night that i moved has been the only time that i've have had to myself and I really appreciate having my own time it when I'm on my own it allows me to have my downtime it allows me to recharge I'm definitely a social person you've probably heard me say this before I'm definitely a social person I do like to talk a lot I really value the time that I have on my own to just like ground and recollect and have like space space mentally and emotionally just to be the importance wow that's a really wide angle yes my place is gonna look amazing once they get it done it is so important and this is for anybody not just people who are an entrepreneur but it's for the busy moms there it's also for the elite athletes or anyone that's really active in their life i think there's a lot to be said for giving yourself time in the morning or somewhere throughout the day where you can just whether it's like two minutes breathe have a meditation practice have a breathing practice or it's you write down on a piece of paper or you type out on your computer or your smartphone iphone gratitude list maybe it's you have some affirmations you say to yourself in the mirror it's really important to have that time because it allows you to come back into your center into your north into your alignment and it's always from that place where you can come from within then you are able to show up for everyone else and everything else that you have in your life. Okay, amazing. I am going to finish my delicious oats here. Mm. So good, so good. I am getting full though. I think I put more than a cup of oats there. I'm planning not to surf today either. Like I said, I am behind on work. I would like to organize this place, film this vlog, edit my other vlog, create content for my business, do all the things, you know. I think also my biggest lesson that so far has been coming up for me this month this new year has been patience. And I guess that was also carried over from just being patient, being able to move into this place, is that I'm so excited for so many different areas of my life and for things to unfold, for my business, for my own health, for my surfing, for living here in Bali, and of course for my relationship. Things take 
time. There truly is a natural rhythm of an, of, of an ebb and flow, of an up and down of life. And you know, as humans, we always want instant gratification. I want to make this amount of money and I want this success in my business. And oh, I want to be able to go in the barrel and come out of the barrel. And I want to be at this certain place in my life with my relationship or and with my health. It's so important to know that things take time and that we need to be patient. For example, patience with this place. Pretty much the story is at the time last year, my boyfriend and I were at a place where a place and space in our relationship that we were going to rent an actual place together. Now we actually, I, to be perfectly honest, because you know, part of showing up online here is that I am very open with my life. I don't share absolutely everything online. However, I'm quite happy always to share certain parts of my life so that, you know, really that you can get to know me and you can get to follow my journey here in life, in living in Bali and everything that I do with entrepreneurship, content creation, building my online businesses my online business and this year hopefully expanding into online businesses, plural, more about that later. If you've watched the previous video, which I can link here or here, you will see that yes, I am going to be starting a podcast, a video podcast. However, going back to the story is that I actually had ended our relationship just about a month before the end of the year or a little bit more it was like october or november it was november so at the time then things changed and i actually ended up renting this place it was still in construction and i was told that i could probably move into it by the end of november now it i ended up moving in a couple of days ago which was only january 18th so i've had to be very patient with first of all negotiating this place getting all the financial logistics in place dealing also with the the locals there is a local agent and a local land owner i don't speak bahasa that's also another goal of mine this year to learn more bahasa it has been a very challenging process in renting this villa. I can see that for myself, what I value is having, like I was speaking before, having space and time. And for me, not being able to, and I was working at cafes, of course, but before I sometimes like to split my workflow hours up sometimes, you know, work a little bit from home or go to a cafe for a few hours. But because I wasn't really in a place where I felt comfortable to sit down, I had a, a desk at my other guest room but every time that I tried to cross my legs there was this metal thing that stuck out and I kept scratching my legs and I just didn't have the space I really value space and brightness for other different reasons I felt for the last three months really cramped and and like suffocating and really limited in the way that I usually like to live. And of course, this is this is for anybody in transition, in between jobs, in between living places, maybe you're in between relationships, whatever life phase that you may be in, possibly you're in a transition phase. And I think the most important thing in a transition phase is to, of course, just have patience and give yourself a little bit more forgiveness and compassion with maybe that you're not living the way that you want to with your regular routines or the way that you usually are. So basically, I then found, moving along, I then found this place, rented it, and I've just only been able to move in. And I'm super excited because it's, it's a beautiful place where I have so many ideas to set up my home office and to be working at home and to be creating my content and building my businesses. Right now there is a desk. So what's really exciting, maybe I'll give you a tour right now. I have, there are some pieces already in here. However, for my look and aesthetic and for comfort and productivity and, and the flow of working at home uh, and living here in my space, I've gone out and I, maybe you've seen some Instagram stories, I have ordered some custom furniture. Well, 
they're already pieces that I just had to choose and they're making them new and it will take about three to four weeks. I am getting, I think on the 20, 23rd, in a few days, a desk delivered my home office desk, as well as another piece of furniture, a mirror for the room where I'm going to sleep in. And then there's other pieces that I have ordered, a few chairs, um, a few consoles, one that will go under the television. I'll, actually, I'll show you. Okay, like I said, this is gonna be very messy. This room isn't that messy. So this is the second bedroom. This is going to be the home office. I will have over here a desk. I'm actually very excited. I ordered like a electronic desk so it can be a standing desk um, and it's nice and big so I can fit my podcast equipment. I'm planning on getting a second external monitor to work off because I edit and also my eyes. I'm getting a little bit older and a bigger screen is always easier to see. We have a wardrobe there. So over there I'm going to plan to have my desk and I still need to get an office chair. Over here, I plan to put in this corner, there's a big chair that I've ordered. And then I'm not sure what I'm doing at the end of the bed or if I'm going to put like another mirror or something. Oh my goodness, here is the living room. Absolute chaos. Where I was sitting before the kitchen. We've got my Kangen machine there, my water ionizer machine, which makes living water. Amazing, amazing. Still need to get a gas bottle. Not sure if I'm keeping this cooker. It looks like it doesn't fit properly. The fridge, I wish I had a bigger fridge. I'm gonna have to be really minim minimalistic when it comes to putting things in the fridge. It's already kind of full. Still need to figure out this whole section down here. I still need to buy more plates and knives and all the things for the kitchen. Toaster I wanna get, all the cookware, like pots and pans and all of that under the television so I'm planning to get another television I'm gonna put this television in the bedroom and then get a large one and underneath I've already ordered a console that will go underneath my cat has already started scratching this cushion oh not very good acai I'm gonna get that recovered get more pillows and a throw rug my mom actually for Christmas gifted me this bl dark blue and kind of gold like beige towel and I think it's too nice to use as a towel. I really want to use it as a throw rug and it's definitely given me inspiration for colors in here. I also have ordered new bar stools. I would like to get actually a round table here and a couple like puffs. I also was thinking because the other night my boyfriend and I were watching a movie and we pff, kind of didn't really fit very well on the couch so I would like to get maybe a second like a small like very small two-seater sofa there like have it yeah I'm gonna have to figure that out plus also in both rooms I need to get yeah especially for this room like to to figure out the sound I might need to get like carpet rug to put on the floor definitely around the chair I'm gonna put some of course everywhere is plants oh, so much to do but very exciting okay so this is the room where I will be sleeping and my boyfriend and I will be sleeping in this corner arriving I ordered a gold mirror to go in the corner underneath the window here I'm gonna have a, a console for the clothes with drawers here is another wardrobe I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that open or maybe I was discussing with the with my boyfriend to get some like blinds to roll down because sometimes like wardrobes aren't super super tidy and it's always good to just close the doors and be like oh you can't see anything and then of course with the beds it's very cool there's already like a concrete built-in base there's the mattress of course fortunately I did buy four pillows and a round bolster the landowner did also buy four pillows and he has provided doona covers and fitted sheet and sheet however I want to buy some more pillows and of course do oh he's Provided the doona, but not doona cover. Also ordered for both rooms, new bedside tables. And this is a tour of the very small bathroom. It's kind of interesting. Shower. I need to do something back here to put, so the windows to the right there, that's the kitchen. There needs to be some kind of like plants or some kind of divider because on the other side is obviously the second bathroom. This wall, I would like to do like a back, like a, I'm not sure if you can see that properly, but a, 
if you can see all the way down, I would like to do like a, a garden wall or something. I'm not sure how much that costs, but need to get doors over here. Like I said, ah, oh, that's all my laundry. <laughs> need to still like figure out, oh, there I am, hello. I wish this mirror was a little bit more round, but I do like a round mirror. I'm probably gonna move this and put some shelves here. The storage here, yeah, I gotta figure out that. And also like in the corner, that's all my things, super messy. This holds a towel. This might just my bikini, my exfoliating gloves. Yeah, the bathroom is an interesting setup. If I had designed this myself, I would keep it all open and not that wall in between the shower. However, beautiful, still needs a lot of work, plants, more storage things. Bikini. Okay, I hope that this works. I don't have much battery left. And actually, I filmed this vlog a couple of weeks ago when I first moved in. And then I realized that after I did the house tour, that my microphone, the sound, because I had switched the microphone as I was talking, as I was showing the house tour, and then I switched it back and somehow, there was no sound to the clips. So this is kind of like, like a follow up like a follow up to the vlog but i'm gonna add these two clips together we have little miss bikini here there has been i guess a lot happening since when i first moved in this will be my third week um this wednesday will be three weeks i've been in my new place and i'm absolutely loving it it's still like not finished i still need to buy many things to furnish and and kitchen things and i just actually got my desk and last night i just set up the video podcast gear and i'm actually very very excited i've had to like i was talking before have patience and I think there are different seasons in your life when, and especially what I can reflect on from last year, is that my my business and my life, my relationships, my health, it, it went in seasons. I'm looking and I'm seeking for this year to be just so much more consistent and intentional when it comes to my business, my relationship, when it comes to content creation, health, friendships, you know, all the things in my life. Today is the 30th and I'm really excited because on February 1st, I am setting myself my own challenge. I've done my own personal audit when it comes to my business and my relationship, my friendships, my health, my creative pursuits, and I'm excited because on February 1st, I am, and I have communicated very clearly with my partner, really tried to focus on expressing the boundaries that I need for myself with work and with time for us that come February 1st, I'm going into full charge mode again with the intention to really give a lot more energy and focus and love to my business and to content creation, to my creative pursuits. I'm excited and it's it feels good and in the last month since I got back from Sydney I really had to you know spend time moving into my new place working on my relationship really trying to evolve in different ways however now from February 1st I'm really moving into a lot more focused intentional committed aligned like all the things like direction and I'm not sure if I said this in the clips before however my my theme, my, my two words, I guess, for this year are direction, vision. My goodness, okay, the it's like flashing. Yes, I'm very excited. I will do another vlog. However, I'm excited because I'm giving myself the next like three months to really focus on my content creation, building my community, growing my business, increasing sales, increasing just momentum everywhere for my business when it comes to everything to do with my workflow for business, as well as just focus on my own health of course always focus on my relationship finish this place i have furniture arriving you know finish doing all of this so yeah that's what i just wanted to tack on to the end of this vlog thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time